hello friends today we'll talk about thyrotoxicosis also known as hyperthyroid also known as grave disease is it all right the answer is no these three are entirely different most of the students are not clear about what are these three terms so they're all entirely different what is the difference this is the main aim of this lecture whenever we talk about thyrotoxicosis that simply indicate increase amount of thyroid hormone in the body h stand for hormone here so whatever reason it may be if there is excess of thyroid hormone we call as the term thyrotoxicosis now how and from where excess thyroid hormone can come so this hormone can come from thyroid itself and if the hormone is coming excess hormone is coming from thyroid itself then we term we use the term as hyperthyroid okay hyperthyroid but but if it is coming from somewhere outside thyroid then we call as euthyroid that means the thyroid gland itself is normal but hormone is coming from somewhere else okay now before i proceed further let me tell you those who are due to hyperthyroid they usually have goiter goiter plus means the gland is enlarged and if the gland is enlarged and there is excess of thyroid hormone so by looking at a glance only you can say he shika the person has hyperthyroid but in you thyroid patient goiter is not a feature not negative that means the gland is not enlarged now the million dollar dollar question coming to your mind ki how can a patient become hyper high amount of thyrotoxicosis without involvement of thyroid gland now what are the causes of you thyroid here we have the number 1 thyrotoxicosis factitia and second cause is stroma ovarii okay and regarding hyperthyroid i'm first giving the list that i'll going to explain to you each and every one of them in hyperthyroid we have grave disease we have toxic adenoma and we have multi nodular goiter so having learned the basic fundamental now we take one by one first of all we talk about thyrotoxicosis without thyroid gland involvement that is you thyroid patient the first term is thyrotoxicosis factitia what is this term these are the patient they are these patients they are usually this is seen in obese nurses obese nurses or nursing students now stop writing and try to understand the subject we work in the hospital 
and we all medical or medicals or doctors work in the hospital and in the ward the drug counter is there that drug counter is under control of nurses we as a physician never go and uh, touch the drug counter so now this lady nurse she's a obese she want to get she want to become a slim trim she want to lose her weight and she call her recalls her nursing student days when she was taught that if you take thyroid hormone or the if excess of thyroid hormone in the body that lead to weight loss now this nurse she want to lose the weight very fast because she is about maybe she is about to get married she want to lose weight in 6 month she will come to the ward and quietly she will open a bottle of thyroid hormone and she take one tablet when she come for duty maybe when she take another tablet uh, when she go off the duty so she is taking excess of thyroid hormone from outside and she soon she become thyrotoxicosis but normally they these uh, people do not lose the weight because due to excess thyroid hormone the appetite also increases so normally weight loss doesn't occur in these patient the point we noted thyrotoxicosis factitia occur in obese nurses because of exogenous hormone exogenous thyroid hormone t for thyroid h for hormone right now second entity is tumor ovary stoma ovary we have been taught by gynae people that thyroid tissue can be ectopic and the ectopic tissue may occur in ovary now it is a ovary which is making excess of thyroid hormone and the patient is thyrotoxic toxicosis but point to be noted here also thyroid has no nothing thyroid is normal function so that's why we call it thyrotoxicosis uh, without thyroid without goiter and one more thing which you should understand in these patient radio active iodine uptake is normal is normal or it is not increase despite having thyrotoxicosis because thyroid gland as such is not involved now let's come to this where the hormone itself is coming from thyroid gland the first entity is grave disease grave disease is a triad of hyperthyroid then second entity is there is ophthalmopathy that means eye signs will be seen in this patient and third is dermopathy dermopathy and in these two there is only hyperthyroid they have only hyperthyroid only hyperthyroid they don't have skin sign and they don't they don't have eye signs right so now let's take well one more thing all of you know how the patient of thyrotoxicosis come the patient of thyrotoxicosis come with palpitation anxiety heat intolerance profuse sweating they sweat a lot they are the usual symptom what they have so palpitation anxiety heat intolerance sweating are the usual symptom for which the patient come to you okay now how to approach a case suppose and remember thyroid disorder are more common in females well suppose i am sitting in my opd a lady comes she has all these complaints okay she seem to be a case of thyrotoxicosis now how to approach this case first of all i look at her neck 
इफ देर इज नो ग्लैंड एनलार्जमेंट तो परहेप्स आई एम नॉट डीलिंग विद हाइपर थायराइड बाई लुक ओनली थायराइड ग्लैंड लुक्स टू बी नॉर्मल तो परहेप्स आई एम डीलिंग विद दिस कैटेगरी द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन आई लास्ट टू हर वॉट इज योर प्रोफेशन इफ शी सेज दैट शी इज ए नर्स तो परहेप्स आई एम डीलिंग विद थारोटॉक्सिकोसिस फैक्टीशियन well she says no i am not a nurse i am maybe housewife or some other profession not not related to medical then i'll think about stoma ovarii well stoma ovarii the one topic which is dealt by the gynecologists of course i like to go for ultrasound and i'll refer the case to i like to and if i get some finding in ultrasound i like to refer the case to gynecologists to do the further need for and of course repeating second time i i why and how i could pick up it goiter was not a feature now and the lady come to me and she has a diffuse enlargement of gland look at this is the normal size of the gland and i get one lady who has a diffuse enlarged gland and that diffuse enlargement gland occurs in grave disease okay so i look at her neck she has a diffuse and large gland grave disease and of course i signs will be there visible when she sitting in front of me and after that i like to like to see her nails because in dermopathy we have two thing in dermopathy we talk about what we have is clubbing and you get a rash in the shin area what we call as pre tibial myxedema pre tibial myxedema now one question may be coming to in your mind remember it is pre tibial myxedema is very frequently asked question also viva theory mcq only myxedema is seen in hypothyroid myxedema alone stand for the non pitting edema of the leg because of mucopolysaccharide deposit in the subcutaneous tissue that lead to thickening of skin but this is pre tibial myxedema this is the scene in grave disease in the shin area there is a reddish patch is there and this indicate <coughs> dermopathy and of course clubbing which we can see in the nails that is known as the clubbing is also known as thyroid acropachy clubbing is also known as thyroid acropachy okay so there are very obvious features so diffuse enlargement of gland having eye sign like proptosis and clubbing and pre tibial myxedema that's a simple confirm grave disease no not, nothing else only i like to go for thyroid function test now suppose gland there, there are no eye sign clubbing is not there and when i look at the neck i am getting i am getting what i can see that there is one nodule is there like only single nodule so that confirm toxic adenoma and remember in this no eye sign no skin sign but there will be all the feature of hypothyroid or all the feature of thyrotoxicosis suppose the this patient goes and the patient come and now in that case the neck enlargement is like this so what we find there are multi nodular so we is a case of multi nodular goiter so to summarize the thing how to approach a case of thyrotoxicosis where patients coming with palpitation heat intolerance profuse sweating weight loss so we, they are all symptoms suggestive of thyrotoxicosis patient come look at her neck if neck that is no goiter you are dealing with u thyroid thyrotoxicosis first question what you should ask what is your profession if she is a nurse factitia if not then you are dealing with stoma ovarii but if the gland is uniformly enlarged 
you are dealing with grave disease. If you are getting single nodule, you are talking about toxic adenoma. And if you are getting multiple nodules, that means you are talking about multi-nodular quieter. So, to reimpose your knowledge, I can tell you one more. Suppose you do radioactive iodine uptake test. In radioactive iodine uptake test, you give radio labeled iodine and for the thyroid gland, it is a just like ordinary iodine. But for us, it is just, just like iodine having GPS. We can know where the uh, iodine is going, so we can tra trace it by gamma cameras. So, this is a normal gland. You give iodine today and the next day you go for the scanning for the radio iodine. And remember, again repeating second time, for the gland, it is just like ordinary iodine. So, if the gland picks up like this, this is normal. If the gland picks up like this, less iodine has been taken. This is a case of hypothyroid. But if the gland is uniformly enlarged, and this generalizes uniformly increase uptake of radio iodine. You radio is normal or or reduce in these patients. It is definitely never uh, increase a, uh, in uh, increase in radio iodine uptake in this type of category. So now you are clear about it that the term. Thyrotoxicosis and grave disease and hyperthyroid are not same. They are all different. Thyrotoxicosis means excess of thyroid hormone. Grave disease is an autoimmune disorder. Jalice enlargement of gland with eye signs, skin sign, and hyperthyroid. And as far as the euthyroid are concerned, no enlarged gland and source of iodine is from somewhere else. Thank you very much for watching this video. You can very well contact me on Messenger for your any queries or any topic you want to listen. Contact me on my Messenger. So I'll be very happy to do the best for you. Thank you very much.